boy, oh boy, oh boy, I knew from the very fucking start I was right. So, as of today, um, July 26, 2021, addressing player reporting tool. This is it. It's already over. The so-called hashtag save Minecraft, I told you all, go ahead and throttle it, but be prepared to leave. And now, it's time to abandon Minecraft entirely. So let's look through what Microsoft just did. Player reporting is a new feature coming to the 1.19.1 release of Minecraft Java Edition. The tool allows players to report inappropriate chat messages and or dangerous behavior and to send reports to our Minecraft moderators for review. We've received a number of questions since we started testing the player reporting tool in our new 22W24A snapshot a few weeks ago. For this reason, we want to take the opportunity to answer these questions and clarify some common misconceptions, both in this point in this post and also in our newly released player reporting FAQ. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So open link in new tab. One second, here we go. For some reason I can't fucking pause. I can't pause, are you serious? Okay, I need to work on that later. Anyway, as we see here, the Minecraft Java Edition Player Reporting FAQ. Why player abuse reporting? So we have a lot of reasons for, for this. Ensuring the safety of Minecraft players is at the heart of why we are releasing player reporting in Java. Without human moderation, online communities can become unwelcoming, harmful, or in some cases dangerous to the security of individual players. Now, this is still going to be true, okay? There are environments in Minecraft, in every online game, that are unwelcoming, harmful, and again, dangerous to the security of individual players. But doing this really isn't even going to change anything. It's just going to lead to pushing it into obscurity, or at least the methods of such into obscurity. But in the end, it's still going to be relevant. It's still going to be happening. And no matter what, it's still going to be well alive as long as it's still a running game. Can I get banned for cussing or swearing? No, you will not ban players just for swearing or profanity. The type of behavior that will get you banned is hate speech, bullying, harassment, sexual solicitation, or threatening others. Now, I have a lot of problems with this. So, hate speech. The problem is that nobody can define hate speech, okay? That's my problem with that. If you can give us a good definition, maybe it's fine. What about bullying? Well, if you're if you're in a competitive game, all right, like Minecraft can be competitive, believe it or not. Yeah, there's gonna be a little bit of bullying, harassing, in game. Okay, if you're on the fucking game, expect people to not leave you alone. Sexual solicitation, I do understand. I and I understand that entirely. But threatening others. This is a very um, common talking point. How is a moderator supposed to know the difference between I'm going to come to your house and kill you and I'm going to come to your house and kill you? There's no difference between those in the eyes of a moderator with absolutely no context. Hate speech is talk that is intended to offend, insult, or intimidate, or threaten an individual or group based on a trait or attribute such as sexual orientation, religion, color, gender, or disability. And again, your th this is just going to cause servers like 2B2T to die entirely. 2B2T is gone. That's it. So if 2B2T ever does update, which at this point it won't, it's over. These behaviors will have the consequences of a temporary suspension or a permanent ban depending on the severity and frequency. Can I get banned for what I say in single player? Player abuse reporting is only available in multiplayer sessions where players can send chat to each other. Now we know this isn't going to be fucking true because it's happened in the Bedrock Edition already. So I don't really see any difference here. As far as I'm concerned, Minecraft is dead. 
Will you ban people for talking about suicide? No. We care deeply about our players, and if we are informed about a threat of imminent harm, we attempt to provide players in crisis with support resources of time and in times of need. Okay. Why does Mojang need to be involved in third-party server player reporting? Why not just Realms? All Minecraft players should expect the Minecraft community guidelines to apply to their Minecraft experience. We strive to ensure that all online player all online play is safe and inclusive. Um, first of all, no, it should not be inclusive. This is an online game, and if you don't want to be a part of it, don't join it. People don't want to be a part of it, either fight them or leave. Simple as that. But not all servers provide players with a way to report or resolve violations of those guidelines. Player reporting is an additional resource to, for players who experience abuse, which can happen on any multiplayer Minecraft session, including private servers. And this also means that anarchy servers are as good as dead. What about one that I might continue to play Minecraft from time to time for? Starlight Vanilla. See, I am an enjoyer of an anarchy server known as Starlight Vanilla. It's in Eastern Europe, and it's a very, very fun server. But the problem is now, it Starlight Vanilla is fucked completely, which I'm going to have to talk to Rain about the, about the chat reporting. Banning and suspending. What does it mean to be banned or suspended for the duration of your ban? We already know what all that is. It's very basic stuff. Suspending is temporary, banning is permanent. Well, I know if I've been banned, it would be just on the ban screen when launching the game from version 1.19.1 .1 onward. The folder versions, the ban reason will be stable when attempting to join a multiplayer session. Can I appeal? Yes, you can, you can submit an appeal to, at this form to have your case reviewed by a human investigator. And we all know for a fact that is not going to happen. The so-called human investigators, if they even exist, are not highly trained. They don't give a damn, or they simply cannot tell contacts from one another. Or they're on multiple different... It, it's just not going to work, alright? You tried this back with the old Bedrock Edition, and Bedrock Edition is completely screwed. But ever since you forced Microsoft accounts into the Java Edition... I knew it was going to happen. Everyone knew it was going to happen. You didn't fool any of us. Well, no. Fool a lot of us now that I think about it. Because the majority of people insist saying Microsoft, they say Mojang. Mojang, why did you do this? Mojang, why did you do it, man, huh? Why did you ruin your good old game? It isn't fucking Mojang. It's not. It's Microsoft. And if you want to be a part of something that can actually help prevent this shit from ever happening again, it's simple. You don't let it happen again because you don't endorse the product. Don't use Minecraft. Do not use Windows. Do not use any of this proprietary bullshit. There's a little game called Mind Test. Link is in the description below. Enjoy it. Download it. Get in. See you next time.